So the big picture for this lesson is function transformations. I'm going to start off by talking about vertical stretches and shrinks. So I have three functions ready to graph here. f of x equals x squared, f of x equals 2x squared, f of x equals 1 half x squared. Let's look at the table of values first. So the parent function is y1 and f of x equals 2x squared is y2, f of x equals 1 half x squared is y3. So let's compare the y1 and y2 values. Notice the y2 values are all double the y1 values. That's because it's a vertical stretch by 2 when you do 2x squared. Now compare y1 and y3. Notice the y1 and y3 values. y3 is 1 half of y1. And that is a vertical shrink by 1 half because the 1 half x squared is only half as tall as the x squared. Okay, now we're going to look at translations. I have f of x equals x squared, f of x equals x squared plus 2, f of x equals x plus 2 quantity squared. Let's look at the graphs on these. There's the parent function in blue. In red, that's the x squared plus 2. And then in black is x plus 2 quantity squared. So notice that the red, or the f of x plus 2, is 2 up. That's a translation up 2. So that's what the plus 2 does, outside of the parentheses. The black has the plus 2 inside the parentheses. That's a translation left 2. So that's the difference between whether you have inside or outside the parentheses. The x squared plus 2 means up 2. It's a translation vertical, up 2. And the plus 2 is a translation 2 left. And if you had minus 2 inside the parentheses, it would be right 2. And if you had f of x equals x squared minus 2 with a minus 2 outside the parentheses, it would be a translation of down 2. So now we're going to talk about reflections. Let's look at the graph here. That blue one, that's a vertical reflection. And comparing the other two, those are horizontal reflections. So looking back at the equations, y equals negative x squared, you put a negative in front of the function, that's a vertical reflection. And comparing y2 and y3, the x plus 2 quantity squared and the negative x plus 2 quantity squared, you put a negative in front of the input variable, that makes a horizontal reflection. So that's vertical reflection and horizontal reflection. Okay, now let's talk about horizontal stretches and shrinks. Here you can see I have x squared again, 1 half x quantity squared, and 2x quantity squared. Notice the 1 half and the 2 are inside the parentheses with the x. That will make a different transformation. So there's the first function. Notice the second function is much wider, and the third function is much narrower. Let's look at the table of values. Okay, now what you want to look for here, I'm looking at the 25 for the x squared function. Notice the 25 is way up here for y2. That means it's a horizontal stretch, because the input of negative 10 matches the input of negative 5 for the regular function. And I'm looking for numbers to compare for the y1 and y3. Comparing 100, those match up. So 100 is negative 10 here, and then it's negative 5 here. That means that this y3 is a horizontal shrink by a factor of 2, because the x value of negative 10 matches the x value of negative 5. So looking back at the functions, the 1 half x squared that is a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2, and the 2x squared is a horizontal shrink by a factor of 2. And again, the difference is that the 1 half and the 2 are both inside the parentheses with the input variable this time. Okay, so that's the big picture function transformations, and also there are a lot of parent functions that are listed in here. Make sure you take detailed notes on those.